Oh my god, do you remember that thing we used to do? Wait, was this us or was this a dream? <laughs> no, it was, where we like pretend to dance. <laughs> I can't talk on the camera's on. Pretend to dance and then push each other out the way yeah. and get in front and, and then you'd be like, no. <laughs> We didn't film it, did we? So what no, were we? I, I, was it just a mirror in front of a mirror? I don't know. Oh, it was in front of the TV when they were doing like music videos. Oh my god, yes, we'd be like, Get out my way. Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> That's my life. Right. What is this? It's the drops you add to your foundation to oh. make it lighter. I thought that was your foundation. <laughs> wow. It's actually not far. <laughs> you were like this. You went. Oh, poor gay. Oh, we've got the same fire enough! Woo! Oh my god, you look like one of those clocks, you know, like the cats are like. By <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen. So now I'm filming with Jake. <laughs> I'm gonna make that the thumbnail. <laughs> What's up, ghouls? Welcome back to my channel. And today, as you can tell, there's some cool things happening. A, I'm not in my bedroom. I'm at Mum's house. Shout out to Mum. Also. Casey is here. This is the coolest thing, obviously. <laughs> Let's just skip the part of a new location and the coolest thing is that I'm here. So Casey is my younger sister and today, as you can tell by the title, we're doing a style swap video. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I'm so excited to film this. We were going to film it like a month or two ago, but then we've both been hella fucking busy. So today we are getting it done and we've had two or three interruptions already, but now we're filming and I'm so excited. So. As you can tell, my style is goth. Obviously, if you're a subscriber, you already know. If you're um, not a subscriber, you should be right now. There you go. That's you know, it's the first time in any of my videos, anyone, or you, myself, has mentioned hit the subscribe button. I've never said it. I don't know why. Well, every time I watch him back, I'm like, subscribe button. So yeah, right now. <laughs> Orders of Casey. So yeah, I'm goth. Casey is a little Instagram baddie. Thing. I'm gonna link her. <laughs> I'm gonna link her Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> her Instagram down below for you guys to check out. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit what her style is like. I'll tell you a little bit about mine, and then yeah. So describe to me your style, of makeup. And so clothes. my style is like based off of Instagram baddie, but a little bit different. Basically, it's like with makeup, it's like fresh face, kind of dewy, like. Not a whole lot going on with eyeshadow because I'm not that good at makeup, but like flaked brows for sure. Um, usually just have my hair like how it's naturally curly and then straight in the front. And then my style with clothes is like oversized t-shirts normally, like this sort of baggy situation and like jeans or leggings or something. I'm like all oh, crop tops. I'm oh. really into crop tops. Brandy Melville especially. <laughs> yes. Oh, their clothes are so soft. This top is from Brandy actually. Oh, see, how do I know? <laughs> probably because we're sisters. Oh, probably. Um, I'm like the opposite. I like matte, super matte skin. I don't like dewy. Oh, um, my eyebrows aren't fleeky. They're a big old mess. Um, not natural in the slightest. Although my hair's natural, I never do anything with my hair. But that's because I have shit hair. So, yeah. <laughs> and then. Super cool black clothes. I don't know. Normally everything's tight and short. That's my life, pretty much. Also orange. I'm really into orange at the moment. So am I actually. Bright orange jumpers, the orange eyeshadow. They're just really Oh, and I have the, the cutest hairbands in the world, right? They're just like normal hair ties and they have a huge orange puff on the end. They're so cute. Love that. So yeah, pretty much our styles are opposite. I'm gonna give Casey three products that are the absolute most important ones to achieve the goths look and then she's going to give me three products that are absolutely imperative to her style so the main things going on with goth makeup you need matte skin i don't know any goth who likes dewy skin i just don't <laughs> a, a few little drops to your foundation to make yourself paler dark eyes dark lips heavy contour yeah so the three products i'm gonna give you are so the first one would be the drops to add to your foundation to make it lighter. These ones are model zone runway things, just white drops to add. When she first um, showed me it, I thought that was her foundation like straight yeah. from the bottom. I was like, wow. I tried it, but it's not because it's not actual foundation. It doesn't look that good. But yeah. 
sad times. The next thing is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Quad in Smoke that I can't open. There we go. Um, so it looks like that. You've got four shades there and I either used this one here to contour the big shade or on days when I feel super goth this grey shade to contour. So either one and then I use the white as like highlight down my nose. So that is a super cool little thing that you're going to use today. Mm -hmm. I hope you're excited. I am. I'm really... What? Works. I'm, I'm, villa, villa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very excited to try although I think I'm going to look ridiculous. It's going to be so funny. Can you pull it off and I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the last product is half of the Better Together collaboration palette. I thought this would be really cute because then we'll like swap styles so we can like... Oh my god, wait, let's link them together. They're magnetic, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. That was the lamest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> it's like when people have their drinks and they go like this oh and drink them with link tops. Remember when Vinny and Paulie did it on Jersey Shore? Yeah. Aww. Goals. Um, yeah, so like dark eyeshadows, um, so that's what this palette is. I've already shown this like a million times on this channel, so y'all already know, but yeah, this palette. Okay, right, Casey, tell me your three products. Okay, so essential for my like makeup, like I don't do this every day, but when I do makeup, this is how I do it, is the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation. I'm the shade Porcelain because... I'm tanner than you, but it's still like the palest one. I've always wanted to try that foundation, but it's just too dark for me, so we're yeah. gonna, I'm just going to wear it today. I'm it's like to dark. medium to full coverage, but if you layer it, it gets fuller, obviously. It's so amazing. It's the best foundation. I, I hated foundation. I never wore it for years because I hated it so much. And I was like, foundation is gross. And turns out I was just using shit foundation. Um, and this is the best thing to happen to my life. <laughs> That's a big statement. <laughs> Next, yeah, poor Ollie. I hope he doesn't watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Next is like fleeky brows, like I said before. So big, my, they're quite big. I've always had big eyebrows, and I love them. And to obtain my fleeky brow look, I'm speaking like a biology textbook. Um, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I'm sure people have seen this before, but I use the shade Ebony, which is quite dark because I have really dark hair. I've not done my eyebrows before with not black. Oh no. So I'm a bit scared. Well, I use that every day, no matter if I have no other makeup on my face, that is what I will use. I should have brought day. my brow pomade. I love it so much, it's great. Okay. And then the last of my three products is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, which if you are searching for a goth makeup this is the furthest from it that you could find <laughs> it's, i actually really want this palette it's so beautiful it's got like browns and reds and orange shades in there this is my fave color by far look how orange it is and then some really pretty what pretty <laughs> some really pretty like glittery shimmery shades in there it's Use every time I do my makeup. Yeah, this is going to be pretty fun. This so <gasps> we're going to go and take up, take up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. Same. So take off our makeup and return with hideous naked faces, especially yours. <laughs> <laughs> and we will get to the makeup. So let's go. Ta -da! <laughs> I feel so weird without makeup on. I look yeah. sleepy. Even though like every video I do is like makeup, so <laughs> I have no makeup on in most of my videos, but still, I still feel gross. Okay, so we've already primed. We quickly use Kat Von D's Hydrating Primer and NYX's Pore Filler. My life. Um, Pierce the Kaku, my cup is. <laughs> so now we're gonna get on to foundation. So we've just dampened our beauty blenders. We're ready to go. So what I'm using your foundation full force, no lightning drops. Yeah, we're both using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And then you're mixing it with... Cool, I love that you can read that. <laughs> Model Zone. Runway drop, do whatever they're called. Yep. How do you do yours? Do you put yours on the blender and then go for it? Or do you... I, put, I pump it onto my hand and then... I usually either pump it straight onto the thing or onto my hand and then dab it onto my face. Yeah. But this is so dark on me. How many drops do you do? Like that? Yeah, and then mix it with the other one. Oh, it looks like face paint. I think it is like face paint, pretty much. I'm just gonna zoom in for a sec so you can see all the color that this is on me. 
I'm scared. I'm very scared. I think you might need to put more white in this for me because it's very dark still. Yeah. It's still quite dark. Oh, it's, oh. it's interesting. This is going to be so funny. What? I look like I'm putting on wall paint. I didn't think I could get much paler looking in this camera because it's so exposed, but oh, I can. Don't worry. If this covers my freckles, I'll be astounded. Nothing covers my freckles. Oh, I should have brought my cap on you lock it. Yeah. I look like a porcelain doll. Yeah, that's cute. Why do you want to look like a porcelain doll? So the next thing you would do is contour yeah, and highlight. Contour. I'll wait till you're done and then we'll zoom in and look at the colours. You actually look like pale still. I think it's because I'm pale. <laughs> but not oh, this pale. I don't like it. I don't like this. What? Look like, at the difference between my mouth and my skin. Yeah, that's nice. You look nice. I look weird. No, you don't. Who are you using? The Sleek Makeup Cream Contour Kit in Light 095. Six shades. I normally use this one. This middle one at the bottom. Ow. Look at how big this mirror is. That's massive. I normally use the middle bottom brown for contour. And then I highlight with concealer, but I put the banana powder from this palette under my eyes. Okay. What you brush don't... am I using? Um, that one? Yeah. A real Techniques foundation brush. Yeah. Oh my god, I've never cream contoured before. Oh, your next step is the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream in white out. I put a couple, like a line there and a line there under my eyes. You'd know this if you watched my videos. I do watch my videos. <laughs> do you actually? Yeah. Oh my god. Um, blend it out and then down the nose. I used to do like here, 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 along here, but it, it just it got to. It, too, it was too much and there was only a couple of patches of my actual foundation and yeah. it right. So yeah, a little bit under the eyes, down the centre of the nose and blend. Yeah. Okay. And then I set everything with a translucent powder. Okay, um, with that I do like from the top of the ear down towards the mouth but when you get down towards the bottom kind of curve it a little bit because curve my it face... down? Yeah, because like if you go like this, you can see like your face curves down doesn't it? The contour doesn't go mm. straight to your mouth otherwise you just cut your face in half. So I do it to like there and then curve it down a tiny bit. Not like all the way down like, to the bottom. When I get to my cheek piercings. Yeah, and then just curve it down a tiny bit. Okay. And that looks really dark but it blends out really well. Okay. And then I do like a few dashes up by my hairline. Everyone in my house that I live with has like all these interesting nationalities and they're like, what are you? And I'm like, English. English. <laughs> so boring. We just drink tea. I'm kidding, neither of us even like tea. tea. I like green tea, but I don't I like green tea. tea. I try in Max Pro Longway Concealer in NC15. Putting that under the eyes. This is the foundation shade that MAC matched me to and it was too dark for me. <sighs> Laura Mercier, just the normal translucent setting powder. Normally I would use a white, but I didn't want to bring it because it would spill everywhere on the bus. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, <laughs> camera <laughs> died. <laughs> camera died, we're plugged in, we're charging. The only other thing I did was set the under eye. Um, um, yeah, I just finished setting the rest of the face. So, <laughs> the foot, you, what you need to do is contour with either this shade or this shade or the grey. Which one do you think? Uh, my everyday is like the, the yeah, brownie one. Yeah, I'm going with that one. 
and then I need to powder contour with this yeah. Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in light to medium. So I usually do a very light contour with this middle shade and then mix the two outer ones and just go for it with bronzer, like bronze to the gods. Bronze your whole life. Yeah. Do I use this Benadje? Yes, I use um by Benadje I meant banana. There's like this banana colour. <laughs> Benadje. This uh expert face brush. Most people who I've seen use this for foundation. Yeah, I was gonna say that's why I used to use But it. I just pat it on there and then don't swipe, just pat it into the under eye. Mm -hmm. Same kind of thing as the cream banana one. on Pinterest for inspiration for our looks so for my eyes I'm gonna go for something like this absolutely love Pinterest so um should be fun I'm gonna use the modern renaissance palette or do you do eyebrows I do eyebrows for this what do you use just a black yeah but I use my pomade, pomade and I didn't bring it oh, it's so I guess sure yeah you like, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna use that. this black shade from the Shade and light quad. Yeah, in smoke. In smoke. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start with the transition oh, shade. Wait, sorry. Bon Fresco, which is this one here. And actually no, I'm gonna start with a light base all over the whole thing. I'm gonna take tempera, which is this one on the end, and I'm gonna just put that all over the lid and up the brow bone. I'm gonna try and do something a bit like this. That's so cute, I love that. Here we go. So I'm just gonna take this fluffy um, domed shadow brush from Real Techniques and put some black in the crease. If I get it in this bloody palette. Did the black enough? I don't really know. It's it's there. It's on my face. Now I'm gonna use the Mac Paint Pot in Soft Ochre just to do like a. What? So basic. I know. Goths don't use that. Yeah, I know, but it's you don't own a paint pot, so what am I supposed to do? It's just like a cream eyeshadow. I'm gonna put it all over the lid and then flick it out a bit so that I can make a cut crease and cheat because I can't keep eyeshadow in just the crease because I'm. I think what people do is use concealer. Yeah. yeah. Zoom in so you can see what I've done on the eyes. Whoa, that back door slammed. This is like super subtle. Right, so now is it my eyebrows? Yeah. I'm really scared to use My this. eyebrows are my proud pride and joy. There's a specific place in my pomade pot that I really like to use. So I do like this first to clean off the excess stuff. And then it's like that bit in there. That's my favourite bit to get pomade from. 
and then I just yeah if, if I think there's too much on there then I'll just scrape it in the lid just to check and then I do underneath and all the way along first and then like brush it up to blur it out and then I go like I have to hold a mirror so I can see I go like along here and then I like make a bigger arch than there actually is and then connect it down to the tail I don't like go up it's like straight all the way along and then it just goes like straight 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 and then it curves down okay, I'm really scared I'm pretty excited to see you do it I'm not because it's going to be awful it's just it's literally just going to be how I do my eyebrows I finished the eye look. It's just like this with the black blended like from the crease and above and then I did white all across the lid and then some eyeliner. I don't love the eyeliner, it stresses me out and I, I really don't like when eyeliner isn't perfect but I will live. Literally someone or something doesn't want us to film today because my SD card just ran out so luckily Casey had one that fits in here. So yeah, right. So, I'm just about to highlight using the sleek Precious Metals palette and I'm using this shade here on the Morphe M501. So, I have finished the eye look and I'm going to move on to mascara. I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Six mascara and the Urban Decay Perversion mascara. Both courtesy of Blaze because I only have drugstore. Why are mascaras? Why do they have such sexual names? Oh, I don't know. Right, I think my look is finished. So now we wait for Casey to take her damn time. Well, I haven't shown this on camera yet, actually. I got this the other day. Um, it only just became available in the UK, literally, like a week ago. It was second of May. About a week ago! Yeah. I think I'm going to show it in like either a haul video or my favourites. I don't know which one will be up first, actually. I'm not sure. Black. I'm gonna go full goth. It's up to you. Which one do you want to try? Which one's better? I think I've tried this before actually because there's yeah. that video on my video. That picture smells on my weird. FYI. So I'm oh my god, Jeffree Star smells weird. I'm going <laughs> personally. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star Velour Velour. How do you say that? I mean oh, Velour Velour Velour. I don't know. <laughs> Liquid lipstick in the shade Weirdo. That's cute. Applicator is so furry that I've got little like brush strokes. It's weird around it? the outside. And the thing is, he digged Kylie. Digged. He had a dig at Kylie for her brushes, and I don't really love that. So I'm gonna have to like. Um, use ultra or ultraviolet amethyst. That's cute. It's pretty much done. This is really weird to see. So weird. To see us like completely. Oh, my teeth look really white. <laughs> yeah. Weird. So we're gonna go and get changed into full outfits, and then show our beautiful creations. We will. I'm pretty excited to be honest. This is so weird. <laughs> I feel like I look exactly like you. Oh my god. I, think, <laughs> I hate this. I think your piercings make you like look a bit more normal. Yeah, that's true. But I just... All out goth. 
I love this little thingy. I wore this, this like, when cake. I met Tom for drinks. Yeah. And like all his friends were sat there and they're all like normal and chill. And I just turn up like like this. <laughs> goth queen. I I quite it's cute. I don't think I did it gothy enough. No, I'd say it's pretty good. But I think it's pretty cute. I like the makeup. Yeah. I mean I wouldn't wear it. I feel but... so casual. This is like the most Instagram baddie thing there is. This little thrasher hoodie. Oh I'm on the, your cape, sorry. Thrasher hoodie. I feel like I should wear the hat. Yeah, so. flip it backwards and see if you look cooler. Very cute. You can see that in my parting, which is kind of funny. This is like my... I, I wear this jumper at least once a week. <laughs> People are like, do you have any other clothes? It's really soft. <laughs> yeah. It's nice, but I don't feel like me. I feel really weird. You look so cute. Oh, I don't like it. Help me. <laughs> oh, it's weird. Oh my god, you look so cute and all glowy and glittery. I love it. I would wear this out. I feel like I'm in costume. Me too. I am in costume. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so weird. I mean, I like this little thing. It's very you. I feel like... I don't really know what I feel like. A goth princess. Yeah. This was such a fun video to film. Um, hopefully we're gonna do some more like tag things or challenging things or more style video things um, together because this was really fun. Um, hit the like button if this is a pretty weird transformation because for me, I'm terrified. I don't like it. Um, yeah, comment, back, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video and yeah. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!